Hey guys, Level Cap here, and uh, you know, recently I've come to the conclusion that the the grind of the FPS first-person shooter tactical channel it's just the lifestyle just isn't for me anymore. It's too stressful, so I decided, you know what? I'm gonna become a hunting and fishing channel. I mean, look at this. We're just driving down a road. Our destination's 700 meters out. We're in this beautiful South African DLC in Call of the Wild, the Angler. And look, I'm not I'm not worried about some sniper on the ridge over there taking me out. I'm just, I'm gonna go fishing, man. Check out that cast, man. Beauty. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? This is a big one for sure, guys. It's gotta be huge. Oh yeah, look, that's definitely a two-hander. Can't hold that fish with one hand. <laughs> also, I think this is the fish we need for our, our mission. Did we do it? Mission complete, baby! Bro, this game has got just the nicest chill vibes. Listen to that rank up song. Now this game is made by Expansive Worlds and you probably know about The Hunter Call of the Wild, another game they made back in 2017. It's kind of like the epitome of hunting games. It's a really cool game. I've played it, enjoyed it. And they asked me if I wanted to check out their Call of the Wild, The Angler, which is a bit more focused on fishing. And I enjoyed their first game so much. I was like, absolutely. So shout out to Expansive Worlds and Rare Drop for sponsoring this video. And if you want to check out the game, there's a link in the video description. It's on the Steam store right now, Xbox, PlayStation. You can play it on whatever platform you enjoy the most. The maps in this game are absolutely huge. I think we're gonna go to the dam first. Definitely checking out Dino Park, but we'll do dam first. Now I think this game is on the Apex engine, and I've seen a lot of people thinking it was a different engine because the uh, the visuals, the graphics are pretty darn good. Now we're at the dam right now. What's so cool is just being able to see super far away. You can go a little bit off the beaten path in this game, but it will eventually return you back to uh, the main game area. So it's not like hiking up to the top of a mountain. It is a fishing game ultimately. So you're supposed to go to the fishing locations. Let's see what's on the other side of this dam. Yeah, look at that view distance. It's really crazy looking. Now something I like is that there's a decent amount of depth to the actual fishing gameplay here. And it's got like a nice guidebook that shows you how to use everything and use your floats and all that kind of stuff. Like here, I'm gonna set my line to go a little bit deeper here below the float. And that should help the hook get around obstacles to like get a little bit deeper in the water, potentially get some bigger fish. All right, we got a bite. So now I gotta control my line tension and I can do that by cranking the reel or also by pulling the, uh, the line in, going side to side if I need to. See what we get here. Oh, she's a big one. Definitely putting that one on a postcard. All right, the game's got fast travel too. We're gonna check out that dino park. Just kidding, guys. You thought this was a fishing game? This is actually the latest in dinosaur FPS technology. Actually, it looks nice. It's funny. This game's it's it's a sightseeing game in landscapes, and you can go to a little zoo slash museum type thing. Oh, what do we got here? Triceratops is Greek for three horned face. But this dinosaur had only two genuine horns. The third and much shorter horn on the end of its snout was made from a soft protein called keratin, the kind found in human fingernails, and wouldn't have been much use in a tussle with the hungry raptor. Wait, so the little, the little horn on its nose isn't like a horn horn? It's like a fingernail. Ooh, T-Rex, baby. Is this a preview? Is this a tease of the next Call of the Wild game? What aren't you telling us, Expansive Worlds? I'm just saying I'll, I'll play a dinosaur hunting game. Dang, this location's gorgeous. All right, I think we got a challenge board up here. This is where we get our little, our little fish missions, as I like to call them. Dang. So I, I think a lot of this is based on a real preserve in South Africa. It's freaking gorgeous, man. Gonna have to book a trip. That looks like we got some other fishers up here. 
They should be real players. It's kind of neat that they added multiplayer to essentially an exploration and fishing game. Not so much um, hardcore competitive or super interactive, but you can chat with people or invite your friends to go fishing with you. Now, apparently, if you own the DLC for this and somebody else owns the base game but not the DLC, you can just invite them to come play with you. They don't have to buy the DLC necessarily. And this works on all the other DLCs. It's kind of a neat thing to do because a lot of games split their player base when they start adding DLC content. But Expansive Worlds has solved that problem, which is, is super like forward thinking of them, and I appreciate it. Now I'm digging this game's guidebook because just the amount of info that comes with it tells you like all the different types of fish that you can catch at this reserve and it just tells you what bait to use, their types of behavior, and like just the styles that you might need to catch them rather than expecting you to know all these techniques to try and catch the fish. Which is great for people like me who are very green when it comes to anything fishing. All right, cooking with gas. I think this is a good fishing spot for this. We gotta use a float fishing rig. And we gotta use the Nagmantu float. No idea how you say that word. Uh, this looks like a perfect spot to set up. Beautiful. Look at that waterfall. All right, let's make sure we got the right stuff equipped. Okay, our reel and line should be good. There's the floater hook and then uh, I think blood worm should do the trick. Yeah. It's actually a really satisfying sound to hear the line go out like that. Good sound design. Beautiful waterfall in the distance. We've got little bugs flying by. I'm gonna do some reading up on South Africa. I mean, it, it looks stunning. All right, we got something. I need a silver rank or higher to uh, complete this challenge. Reeling her in, 20 meters out. Coming in, 15 meters. Should be easy, I think it's a pretty small fish. Come on, silver rank. Tiny little yellow guy, looks like. What do we got? Hey, silver, canary kerper. Nice. That should uh, complete the challenge, get some credits. Take a little photo to send home to mom. Well, looks to me like you've got the goods. Remember to give back as much as you take and you're in. Welcome to Shisanyama. For real this time. I really do dig the messaging of this game. Now, I explored quite a bit more of this world and it's all beautiful, breathtaking, handcrafted areas. I, I really do see the appeal in making games like this and playing games like this where you're just like, how about just a chill game where we can learn about different parts of the world, go fishing, enjoy the scenery, play with friends. I gotta say, I'm pleasantly surprised by Call of the Wild The Angler. I think it's a cool game, and again, if you guys want to check it out, check the links in the video description for more stuff. I hope you enjoyed this more relaxed fishing video. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe for more stuff like this, ding that notification bell to beat the YouTube algorithm with me, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.